Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I'm joining you live from Los Angeles, California, in my front yard garden. We're here today to talk about no dig gardening. Now, what is no dig gardening? No dig gardening is a very easy, efficient, and regenerative way to clear uh, an area where there's weed or overgrown plants that you don't want. Um, that it's a way to grow that's better for the soil because you don't disrupt the microbial life or integrated structural system of organic matter and organic matter that lies beneath the soil. So I've prepared a little um, short video for you um, to show you the basics of no-dig gardening. Um, I've kind of thrown everything in one short um, chunk there for you to show you um, how it works from beginning to end. And then after that, I'll join back. I'll join you back in this video to show you, to tell you a little bit more about um, the process as I would normally do it. Okay, I think we're going to run the video now. Hi, it's Jade with Illum. Welcome to my front yard garden. Today I'm going to be telling you about no-dig gardening. It's my preferred way to garden, and actually it's the only way that I garden. Um, I love it so much, and I'm very happy to be demonstrating that for you today. Okay, so today we're going to be working with just the small area in which I will be demonstrating the no-dig method. So usually there may be some greens or weeds or grasses that I do not want to um, grow in the midst of my um, edibles. So what I'll do is I will lay a sheet of cardboard on top of it um, to sort of block out the sun that will inhibit any further growth in the future of those unwanted grasses or weeds. And then on top of that, we will be laying about four to six inches of compost. And then on top of that, we will be laying down a layer of two to four inches of mulch. And then we'll plant right in it. So stay tuned, I'll show you how we do it. So there you have it, my new bed of no-dig gardening. Now, as I water this bed more and more every day or every other day, the cardboard is going to break down and it's everything is going to get composted into the ground, providing nutrients for the plants that I just planted, as well as for the soil underneath, and everything will just get incorporated, incorporated together. So that's, those are the basics of no-dig gardening. Very simple and very good for the earth. Okay, that's it. All right, awesome. So. As you can see, um, no dig gardening is exactly that. There's no digging um, and it is very, very fast and very efficient. Now, um, as you saw in the video, um, I did that, I demonstrated the technique over an area that was already cleared of weeds. Um, I've, I've planted and replanted things, uh, plants in there over like a couple of, a couple times already so I actually don't have any more weeds there but there is an area that I'm working on a bigger area that I'm working on under the foot of um, two of my trees that have overgrown weeds uh, or not weeds but um, offshoots of the tree that I want to actually um, clear and inhibit its growth so it doesn't come back. So I'm planning to use the no-dig gardening method there. And I think we have a picture of that um, that is going to be put up right now. 
awesome. Okay, so um, in this area, you can see this is at the foot of an African sumac in my yard um, that has been overgrown. There's lots of shoot over, um, lots of shoots, little young shoots coming from the tree. So I am going to lay that cardboard down, and then I am going to water it first, and then put um, put in four to six inches of compost and and then another layer of two to four inches of mulch on top of that. And I'm going to keep watering it here. I'm going to let, um, unlike the, the process that you saw in the video, I'm going to actually let this sit for a while because there's a lot of overgrowth to break down so i'm going to keep watering it once i lay it down with compost cardboard compost and then mulch and then after maybe a month uh, or two months i will start planting right in there and um, i'll probably put in some plants that are um, easy to grow under the the foot of that tree um, that doesn't um, require a lot of lighting but um, this is how you would clear an area of weeds or overgrowth um, and sometimes in a small area as you saw it in the video that is relatively void of weeds you would not need to wait that long um, for everything to break down so I went ahead and planted right away into the bed now, one thing I wanted to point out that if you remember that I actually placed the bed, or the no-dig bed, right over the irrigation piping so that this will ensure that uh, the area will get, um, will stay moist and get watered for ongoing um, decomposition of all the um compost and mulch and it will continue to support the ongoing growth of the new plants in there also um, the more you water it the more it's going to break things down and as the cardboard and compost and mulch break down they will form the structure the structures and microbial activity within the soil beneath the soil um, which will form a very nice mesh of organic matter and structure that will provide nutrients and support for the plants um, that are planted in there so that's pretty much the basics of no dig gardening again it's an easy and efficient way to clear an area of overgrowth and it's very regenerative because um, you can plant right away and you're not disturbing the um, very fine um, network of microbial activity and mycorrhizal fungi and um, a lot of the networks of communication and exchange of nutrients that are living beneath the soil. So it's very simple and I hope that you can try it at home. Um, and thank you for joining me and taking an interest in um, no dig gardening and in food security for us all. Thank you and bye from Los Angeles.